Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Chuku. I welcome you all to a lesson about plants. To begin this lesson, let me ask you a question. The question is this, are plants alive like other living things? I think you might know the answer to that question. I know the answer too. So I will share that answer with you. Let's begin. Plants are alive, just like people and animals. But how can we tell that this is true? It's simple. See here, things that are alive do some things to show that they are truly alive. For example, they grow and die. They need energy, nutrients, water and air. They respond to what is around them. Let's look further into these examples, shall we? Great! Plants are very important to the environment we live in. They come in many different shapes, sizes and colors. But they all need air, water, nutrients and sunlight to live. Plants cover much of our planet both on land and in the sea, in forests and deserts, in homes and schools, and so on. Whether they are large or small, plants are almost everywhere. Plants are so important to humans and other living things on earth that without them, we could not survive. So, to ensure that humans and other living things continue to survive, plants grow. They also die too. But dead plants are quickly replaced by fresh new ones. This makes the cycle go on and on and on. Plants make their food from the sun's energy. How does this happen? <laughs> Let me tell you. Plants produce the oxygen in the air we breathe. This helps humans and animals stay alive. But how do plants use energy from the sun to make their food? Well, let's just say they keep a simple timetable called photosynthesis. That's a rather big word, isn't it? Let's spell it out. P-H-O-T-O-S-Y-N-T-H-E-S-I-S. Photosynthesis. Like human beings, plants have a way of living and growing in the different areas they are found. Plants have a special part that allows them to live in a particular place. That place is called a habitat. Let's get the spelling of that word. It goes like this. H A B I T A T Habitat So, a habitat is the physical place where a plant lives and finds food to grow. For example, a plant living and growing in Nigeria's weather may not survive or grow well enough in places with very cold temperatures like Russia and Greenland. Let's consider some plants in their natural habitats. Some plants that grow in grasslands are rose, oats, and sunflowers. Some plants that live and grow in desert lands are cactus plants and palm trees. Some plants that live and grow in forests are shrubs, oak trees, wildflowers, and maize plants. Did you find all that interesting at all? Well, I did. And I look forward to learning more interesting things. Just to remind you about some important parts of this lesson, I talked about the way plants draw energy from the sun, which is specially called photosynthesis. I also talked about the way plants live and grow in their physical location, which is called habitat. Hmm. We have come to the end of this lesson on plants as living things. Until next lesson, keep blooming.